Welcome to the 16th part of Springboard Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to start working on adding new bookmark page. So in the previous video, we have implemented the bookmark listing page and added the pagination support and also implemented bookmark search functionality. So in this episode, we are going to work on this new bookmark uh, screen. So for creating new bookmark form, uh, we can go to bootstrap documentation and then if you navigate to um, forms section here, you can go to overview and here you can see there are a few examples. Uh, we can take any of the example and then update according to our react uh, conventions. And here what I did, I, I created a form. Uh, and here I have used some of the bootstrap components like a card and then form. And so this is how it looks like right now. So uh, we have a card with this title and then within the card, we have this simple form which contains only URL and title. Okay. So let us go through the code what we have right now. So here for our add bookmark component. So we are again using uh, use state hook and for uh, two fields we have in the form title and url we have use state which is initialized with empty uh, string and also once we submit the form if it is successfully uh, inserted into the backend we will be showing uh, bookmark saved successfully message so we have another uh, property here and it is initialized with null value and initially we are storing null but later we are going to store a string message so the type we are referring to string or null okay so and then right now we have an empty uh, submit handler here and if you take a look at the form it is a plain simple form here we have and then before that we have uh, this message um, this is like a convention where we generally see if message has any value it is going to display this otherwise it's not going to display so initially message is null so it is not going to display this alert um, and then we have this form and uh, we have this input box for url and whenever the value change it automatically populates into this uh, url property over here and then again we have another uh, input box for title uh, whenever it changes it's going to store it in a title property and then we have submit button and on submit we are using this handle submit uh, callback here and by default we are going to prevent default functionality of the form submission and we need to prepare a payload to make a api call right so const payload equals to it would contain both title and url okay but before proceeding we should make sure that uh, url is mandatory field our title can be optional but url is mandatory right so if not url if it doesn't contain any uh, truthy value we are going to for now just put an alert and then return please enter url return i'm just putting it here an alert but ideally uh, we should be displaying some proper message using some uh, other mechanism nicer looking mechanism okay uh, we have this payload here and right now uh, we do not have any uh, function to uh, invoke the backend api to store bookmarks so let us copy this and call it as save bookmark and it is it is going to take an object let us call it bookmark and if we have any interface that define both title and URL, we can specify it. Otherwise, 
in ad hoc fashion also we can create uh, what kind of a structure we are expecting like we are expecting a title which is string and url which is also a string so we don't have to create an interface to define what structure it is in ad hoc fashion also we can define like this and let us not worry about the written type we are not going to do anything with it and then we are going to use post method and let us remove this and so it's going to be like this base url slash api slash bookmarks this is where we are going to post okay so this is our method to talk to the backend api and store the bookmark and again uh, for this url we need to post this payload right cool then let us go back to our add functionality here and call save bookmark and send the payload it's going to be okay because it contains both title and url which is expecting uh, from this okay this is expecting a title of type string and url of type string right so our payload is uh, sufficient and await const response equals to so for now let us assume uh, it's going to be successful and usually if you get a promise and you can uh, check whether it is successful or failure i leave it up to the uh, viewer to try out a failure scenario how to handle gracefully but for now i can assume okay it's it's uh, successful and just for the sake of logging let's log save bookmark response okay and once successfully we save the uh, bookmark we need to clear up these fields title we need to clear up the title set url we need to clear up the url value and we are going to specify the message bookmark saved successfully okay cool now let us try what happens so we have this bookmark form and let us open the console so here i'm going to give quarkus.io url and give the title as quarkus and if i click on submit i am getting an error saying that uh, localhost 8080 slash api slash bookmarks from origin localhost 3000 has been blocked by cars policy so by default browsers block this cross origin request if the uh, origin is different from the uh, domain okay so in order to allow uh, other applications uh, to make ajax request on the server side we need to allow cross origin request okay so how to do it there are many ways but we can have a global configuration on the backend api under config package i am going to create a class called web mvc config okay and i am going to implement web mvc configurer interface okay and i'll mark it as configuration class okay here in web mvc configurer there is a method called add course mappings okay i am going to override that and i will add registry dot add mapping so here for any calls that starts with slash api slash star star i am going to add this configuration of allow methods so here we can specify if we want to allow only get and post we can specify get and post but if you are uh, okay to uh, allow all method types like get post put delete all the things we can use star 
in the same way we can also specify allow headers so if you are particularly uh, want to allow specific set of headers only we can specify otherwise specify allow all headers uh, by means of star and allowed origin patterns so here again uh, if you are uh, having a limitation of only your api should be called from so on so domain only you can specify that uh, domain patterns here but here again we don't care uh, we are uh, allowing anybody to call this so with this setup let us restart our application okay i am using maven spring boot run goal to restart the application okay application api backend started let us refresh and let me add same quark as bookmark and here when i submitted uh, it got successfully saved and we got the response as well and the message is being shown here saying uh, bookmark saved successfully if we go back to bookmarks uh, listing page now we can see this bookmarks uh, that we just added quarkus right okay cool so here are few things like uh, i just added a simple alert like if we are trying to add a bookmark without entering url we are simply showing this alert which doesn't really uh, look good uh, but i leave it up to you to implement some fancy ui uh, message uh, error message display things like that so probably we can use some alert mechanism to show uh, so and so properties needs to be filled or something like that i leave it up to you as a, as a um, assignment okay and uh, another thing that could have been done better is here uh, we are assuming it's always successful but if it encounters any failure we can have a, a promise then an error uh, blocks and then specify whether it is successfully saved or not and if it is successful then only clear these uh, values and then uh, show the message accordingly so anyway those are minor uh, ui things that uh, you can take care so uh, that's all for this video um, so with this uh, add bookmarks also implemented as a feature wise we are uh, we have completed most of the uh, uh, functionality of our application like uh, displaying all the bookmarks with pagination support and uh, able to search by title and also we are able to add bookmark and in the next video we are going to <clears throat> look at how to dockerize this next js application okay cool thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye bye